Well, the Super Mario Brothers movie launched over the weekend, and as the other less good THR reports, its opening was apparently stupendous, grossing $204.6 million in the U.S. and $375.6 million globally, which is the best global opening for an animated film ever. Now, I know why the movie did well. I know you're probably thinking it's because Super Mario Brothers is a massive franchise, right? No, actually, the movie did well because... It was anti-woke, and it's truly inspiring to see this movie do so well because it demonstrates that Americans are just fed up with wokeness. They just want to take their family to watch a movie without some political agenda being shoved down their throats by some Hollywood elites. Plus, it doesn't hurt that it also stars Christian King Chris Pratt. As Steven Crowder put it, the anti-woke Super Mario Bros. movie just set a global record. Now, here's what he and his colleagues, specifically Alex Jones, had to say about this movie. Mario Brothers just set a global Global opening weekend record for animated films. Nice. Seven, uh, 377 million dollars on a 100 million dollar uh, budget. Why Top Gun did so well. Yeah. And they're not even right wing. They're just leave people alone and let them have a fantasy. That's why I can't watch anything on Netflix now. It's all brainwashing. Everybody knows that, but that's my same question. Why is Anheuser Busch committing suicide? Why did Hollywood commit suicide? Why is the left doing this? Why are they like kamikaze? So basically, the movie is anti woke because in a climate where Hollywood elites are always trying to push some sort of agenda down our throats through film, to be apolitical in this environment makes it inherently anti woke. And this film proved that you don't actually have to cater to the libtards to be successful. And other conservatives online echo the same sentiment as Steven Crowder, with video titles like Mario destroys box office as woke movies fail massively. Make him gay. The <laughs> The woke media has meltdown over the Super Mario Bros. movie, not including LGBT content. Super Mario Bros. just destroyed woke Disney at the box office. Families are done with Disney. Woke actor gets triggered by a Super Mario Bros. movie. John Leguizamo boycotts over white people. Super Mario Bros. humiliates Disney and establishment critics by rejecting wokeness. So as you can see, the film is anti-woke, and that's why the critics hate it so much. But unfortunately, the film is actually very much so woke, according to other conservatives. Yes, you heard that right. It's woke, and it's because Princess Peach is portrayed as a girl boss in the film, which is obviously pretty overtly woke. Now, you might be thinking, Anna, who cares? It's just some dumb movie, but you should care, and here's why. Because what they are doing is they're, they're trying to brainwash society to think that that's how women are supposed to be. And this is dangerous because then we have women who go out there who think they're men and they wind up getting hurt. They wind up getting raped. They wind up getting, because this is, who's going to consume this content? Well, young kids, right? It's a cartoon. Adults, unless you're a loser, you're probably not going to want to watch that, right? So, unless you're watching it with your kids. But the reality is, this has actual ramifications on society. Young women see stuff like this and it just brainwashes them to be a feminist, to be a badass feminist. And it's not realistic. R women are not as strong as men. Women aren't the ones who are gonna go out there and be like, watch this, let me kick ass. This like badass bitch culture is actually ruining women and it's ruining society and nobody knows where they stand anymore. So actually it has real consequences. I'm sick and tired of seeing unrealistic things like that. Please make her a helpless princess again, okay? That's uh, a lot more fitting for Princess Peach. Sorry. You got Peach just taking charge. Peach just taking charge. Stands up right there. Like right at that moment right there when I saw that, I, I, I was thinking Bo Peep from Toy Story 4, um, Ray Skywalker, and she seems to dominate the rest of the trailer. Mario's the bumbling idiot. Again, if, if we're not dealing with current day Hollywood, then these red flags probably aren't an issue for me. But when I see that, the first thing I'm thinking about is Bo Peep from Toy Story 4. That's the first thing I thought of. And uh, it, Peach just kind of dominates the narrative of the rest of the trailer. But it, it, it is impossible to not be alarmed by these things in current day Hollywood. It's absolutely impossible. Um, I mean, Peach is just like, there is literally, Peach has done nothing but be stoic and smart and powerful and commanding. And Mario is bumbling, stumbling idiot. Look, like right there, she just has this confidence. You know, she's just standing there with all this confidence. Uh, again, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm 100% wrong. 
Now, to be fair, that last clip was filmed before the movie came out, but he was right to be alarmed by the film's portrayal of Peach as a strong, confident, independent woman because others noticed this too. The Super Mario Bros. movie, woke trash rant. Peach is a girl boss? Well, at least the kids will love it. Super Mario Bros. movie, woke? Oh, Princess mia. Peach is a SJW girl boss? Ray Skywalker again? Uh, and another about the movie before it came out, saying it simply looks like woke garbage. So now you kind of have two different camps here. While Geeks and Gamers was originally concerned about an independent girl boss type of Peach, turns out they switched teams and are firmly in the it's anti-woke camp now. And they even had three different videos praising the film, two of which focused on how triggered the wokesters were that the film was not woke. This YouTuber also landed on both sides of the argument with the wokesters apparently being triggered that Mario is white while the rhydoids were triggered over Peach being too much of a girl boss. Now, just so we're clear here, we can all be triggered over the Super Mario Bros. movie simultaneously, okay? All of us at the same time can be outraged for different reasons at this movie as we should be with all films that come out. But that YouTuber in particular seemingly concluded that the amount of girl boss was actually permissible because Peach doesn't cross the woke line in other areas. She is extremely recognizable as Princess Peach. There is no doubt that this is Princess Peach. She didn't get that race swap. She didn't get the body type, drastic body type change. She didn't get defeminized. She still has her dress. She still has the pouty feminine lips the pretty makeup and hair. Uh, she's definitely all dolled up, a very feminine woman, okay? But she's feisty, but this is not a change to the character. Peach has always been feisty. So there you have it. Look, I'm sure that you all find this conversation very intellectually stimulating because, you know, Who's to say what is and isn't woke? Maybe what is woke is in the eye of the beholder. Maybe art is subjective. Maybe you can make the case really that any particular brand is both woke and anti-woke simultaneously based on whatever narrative that we're currently trying to push. If I had to guess, I'd say that if the Mario movie bombed, most conservatives would claim it was woke and it bombed because it was woke. But since it did well, well, of course, it behooves conservatives to pretend as if it wasn't woke to imply that most Americans are fed up with wokeness. But regardless of how valuable this very, very substantive conversation has been, I do think that as individuals, we have to know definitively, is this film woke or is it anti-woke? So allow me to give you the definitive answer as to whether or not this is woke. So let me just take a moment to uh, kind of think it over and, and ponder this for, for a little bit. Make him gay. John Leguizamo boycotts over white people. Princess Peach is an SJW girl boss? Ray Skywalker again? She didn't get that race swap. Race swap. Race swap. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralist. Woke moralist. Woke moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.